Hey what's up guys, this is Wuhan's with High Tech Studios for another video tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you guys AMD Overdrive. AMD Overdrive is a great tool for overclocking a processor and our graphics card. Today I'm going to be showing you guys my, the processor Overdrive. So make sure that you're not confusing this with the AMD Vision Control Center which has Overdrive for your graphics card built into it. We're going to be focusing on the Overdrive which you can download from their website, link in the description. So we're going to go ahead and double click it, it's going to ask us if they want to allow the program to run. We're going to go ahead and click yes. It's going to bring up this little disclaimer. This is a perfect time for here for me to do my disclaimer. I am not responsible for any damage they do to your processor, motherboard, RAM, hard drive, or any component of your system or anybody else's system that you may overclock. Now, just this is just for protection for me, okay, guys? Um, the, overclocking is usually safe now. Motherboards usually have safeties. Um, I haven't seen one that hasn't that's been released in the past five years, so usually you're pretty safe. But safety just do fail, so watch watch what you do, you guys. Don't be overclocking your processor at eight eight gigahertz, because the the world record for a overclocked processor is eight point four gigahertz, actually. So we're gonna go ahead and click OK, let it analyze. It shows you a bunch of information about your computer. I have some Corsair RAM. I have 8 gigs of it. What else do you want to know? So we're going to go ahead and go to the clock slash voltage section of it. So as you can see here, I already have my uh, processor clocked at 4.3 gigahertz. The stock speed is 3.1. So t to overclock your processor, I'm just going to go ahead and bring this down. I'm going to hit apply and hit OK just for demonstration purposes. I'm going to do it again because I didn't want to. Okay, my processor is all the way down to 2.2 gigahertz. Now that is underclocking the processor. That's good for uh, testing stability issues. So to overclock your processor, as you can kind of see what I'm going towards here, you're gonna take the slider and put up your multiplier. Now it's only only gonna go to 17 because they don't want you to overclock your processor too much. Now you would hit apply and hit OK, and then the 17.5 is gonna move to the middle. Thus, giving you more room to overclock some more. So we're just going to go 3.6, 3.7, 3.8, 4 gigahertz. I'm going to go ahead and push to 4.3 because that's what I was at. Hit apply, hit OK. Now, your processor is overclocked to 4.3 gigahertz in my instance, but it may not run very stable. So what you're going to do is that you're going to take your voltage and then you're going to click it once and then hit up a couple times. Okay, now I already had my voltage up so it's uncomfortably high right now so I'm just gonna bring it back down and you would hit apply again with the disclaimer they're really trying to protect themselves go ahead hit OK and my computer is running distant or decently stable or it is running stable then you would go to your stability test you would set it for however long you want it to do I'm just gonna do I'm not even gonna do it but you can go down from a minute all the way to a week and you would hit select all and start make sure that you run this after you overclock your computer or else you will not know if your processor is safe okay let's say that I'm rendering a video and I have it all the way up to 4.3 gigahertz and the voltage is too low so my processor is running unstable it is gonna blue screen and possibly corrupt your operating system so make sure you run that stability test because this if you do it this way your computer will get be guaranteed safe instead of corrupting your video editing software games whatever you may be doing so anyways this has been Will Hans with the High Tech Studios uh, video tutorial make sure you guys like subscribe comment on this video and as a bonus I want you guys to make a video response on how high you guys overclocked your computer so thank you for watching